Well, in Miguel Aleman, Mexico, that is across the border from Roma, families attempting to enter a mass grave site are being turned away. They are looking for family members who went missing. The Mexican government is exhuming bodies of people buried without identification. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez says families on both sides of the border are calling on the U.S. for help. The exhumations are a massive undertaking. From what families told us, it's large, disorganized, and poorly funded. Among this lively scene in the middle of the town's plaza, two women tell us what they've seen on the other side of Miguel Aleman. Averiguaciones previas no hay, no hay pruebas de ADN, no hay ni siquiera bolsas para cadáveres aquí. Los avientan en bolsas de basuras y los hemos visto envueltos en sábanas. Maria Valdez is the organizer of a large group of families with relatives who disappeared in Reynosa. El colectivo tiene 1,600 personas que todos tienen un familiar desaparecido. Algunos tienen dos, algunos tienen tres, algunos son familias completas. Losing just one leaves a lasting impact. This mother will call Victoria for her safety. Tells us armed gunmen walked into her son's workplace in Adame and kidnapped him. She filed a police report and agreed to meet investigators at a restaurant later to give them some extra documents. Again, armed gunmen went in, kidnapped the investigators, and shot three people, dead. She's kept looking for her son. In 2015, someone told her they found him in a pile of burned bodies in Tampico. Muchos cuerpos que estaban en el CEMEFO de Tampico se los trajeron a Reynosa. Por eso estoy yo aquí. When she asked for the body, no one knew where it was. It's an example she and Valdez give to explain the disarray encountered in Mexico, now in Miguel Aleman. These are pictures of one of the sites where Valdez said families from the valley, about 10 of them, are trying to get to. Valdez's organization is pleading for other governments, like the U.S., to step in and help share information. Y queremos los mapas de los panteones, queremos saber cuántos panteones hay y queremos saber cuántas fosas comunes tienen. She believes there are far more than the initial estimate of 350 bodies to be exhumed in Ciudad Miguel Alemán alone. The Tamaulipas Attorney General's office is still asking families to report to their office. There they can donate their DNA samples and get further instructions on what to do next. In the studio of Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.